Hello, I'm Jesse, and this is my copy of Pokemon Blue. I've had it for 25 years, and it's special to me. I have a lot of fond memories playing it with friends, and now I'm making new memories with it because I started playing it again with my kid. She's using this bootleg copy of Red. She also snagged my new FPGBC for herself, so maybe I'm going to need to buy another one of those. Anyway, maybe you have a cartridge with lots of sentimental value, or one with lots of monetary value, and you still want to play them on real hardware, but you're worried about damaging your precious cartridge. Or maybe that 25-year-old battery that's keeping your perfect Pokémon save alive is starting to make you a little nervous. Or maybe you just bought one of those shiny emulation handhelds and obviously the only way to get games to play on it is by somehow turning the games you already own into ROMs. So let's learn how to do that. First, you're going to need something like this. It's the This one is the Inside Gadgets GBX cart. It's for reading ROMs and save files from cartridges and writing them to rewritable cartridges, like this one. It doesn't have to be this exact product, it, there are a number of other ones that are similar, like the GB Operator, the GB01, Save the Heroes Reader, and Joey Jr., to name a few. Maybe there are others. They're for copying games off of cartridges and onto your computer. And they can generally also be used for reading save data off, if you want to back that up. So with the Inside Gadget one, we're going to have to... It needs to be hooked up to a computer, so let's... Plug it into USB. And some light should show up, and now we can plug our card in. And now we need to go on the computer. There is some software that you can get to use with the GBX card called Flash GBX. And we load it up. This should run on Linux, Windows, and Mac. And we select Game Boy. And we can click Backup ROM. And the neat thing is it'll actually pick the name uh, for the ROM, and they're, it's getting this from the cartridge itself, which I think is neat. So let's save that. And it'll take a little bit to copy it over. Don't need a dump report. And we can also back up the save data the same place. And now we can see we have those two files. So now we can open up an emulator and try to load that ROM. And we can see we get Pokemon. And it even has the save game. We haven't been playing for very long. Now if we want, we can write this ROM to a rewritable cartridge that I have here. Uh, this is also from Inside Gadgets. Um, just unplug that one, plug in the cartridge we want to write to, open up Flash GBX, click Write ROM, and Write the Pokemon. And write the same data. And now let's try the cartridge. There you go. It works. So now I can play this version of the game instead of this one. And 
and I've effectively just created my own bootleg copy of Pokemon Blue. Now, one reason you might want to do this, as I mentioned at the start, is that these old Game Boy games that have uh, save functionality actually use a battery. And if we open it up, We can see it right here. And seeing as these are batteries and 25 years old, they can lose their power. And when they lose their power, your entire save is gone. So if you really care about your save, one thing you can do is back up the save onto the computer and go ahead and replace these batteries. I'm not going to do that now. Um, that's something you could do. Well, thanks for coming with me on this journey of backing up my fond childhood memories. And good luck with yours. Bye.